I would like to ask Rosa or Murit oh. to come on the stage and begin his 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 talk on thoughts on impure experiences, unity, fragmentation, and Nishida's Junsui Keiken. Please. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Hans Peter. Okay, so we're we're almost there. Last last talk of the evening. Okay, okay, um, right. So uh, what I'm talking about today, I'm going to focus on the uh, concept of um, pure experience. Okay, okay. Jinsi uh, Taiken. This is the concept that first appeared in Nishida's first book, uh, Zen no Kenkyu. It's the concept that launched the. Kyoto school as we know it um, it's also a concept that had problems okay okay which even Nishida would, would re have recognized okay um, and I want to look at what the concept of pure experience leaves out and how it can be put back in that which the concept leaves out okay and to think this through I'm going to use the concept from Linzai Linzai or Linchi was an ancient, uh, ancient uh, Tang dynasty um, Zen Loshi Zen Master, okay, Linzai, the Linzai Zen comes from Linzai, okay, so, sorry if you all know this already, I, I don't know how to pitch this, okay, excuse me if I'm too simple, okay, simplistic, okay, um, I'm going to use his concept of the person of no rank to, to and I'm going to use um, the Japanese philosopher Izutsu Yoshihiko, he was not a Kyoto school philosopher, but he did write a book called Towards a Zen Philosophy, okay, in the 1970s, and he Reading that has helped me understand the, the import of, of, of um, what Linzai had to say. Okay, and I'm go basically I'm going to use Linchi or Linzai to, to perform a critique of pure experience. Okay, okay. Now, amazingly, I actually made a handout for today, forgetting that I not shouldn't be handing out stuff that's unhealthy, and also forgetting that half the audience aren't here. Half the audience are spirits floating in the internet world, okay? You can't be physically contacted, okay? But just to show you, the, what I'm do, going to do is just go to read uh, two quotes from the, what's called the Lin Chi Lu, the record of Lin Chi's sayings, okay? The, the Lin Zai Lok Gu, okay? Well, the first section is about this concept of the true human of no rank, okay? Or the true, it's translated by Burton Watson as the true man of no rank, okay? Okay, so I'll just read this section from the Linzai's record, okay? Okay. The master ascended the hall and said, here, in this lump of red flesh, there is a true man of no rank. Constantly, he goes in and out the gates of your face. Is there any one of you who who doesn't know this for a fact, then look, look. At that time, there was a monk who came forward and asked, what is he like, this true man of no rank? The master got down from his chair, seized hold of the monk and said, speak, speak. The monk was about to say something, whereupon the master let go of him, shoved him away and said, the man with no rank, what a shitty ass wiper. The master then returned to his quarters. Okay, so that's the famous uh, true human of no rank section, okay? The Kononiku um, Taini uh, Mui no Shinjin ga ite. Here in this lump of red flesh, there is a true man of no rank, okay? Now, this is quite an important concept, okay? Um, DT Suzuki argues that it's, it's kind of the peak of, of the development of. Zen philosophy in ancient China. You'd, you'd have Buddy Dharma starts off with the concept of Do, Michi, okay, Wei. Uh, Hui Neng, Eno, the, the fifth, the sixth, sixth patriarch, he is the concept of Kokoro mind. And then this was the latest concept of, of the, the person, the human, okay, the embodied lump of red flesh human in the world, okay? This is what Zen philosophy applies to in its most basic form. Okay, there's also this idea of it's, it's a, he call, uh, Rinzai says it's the true man of no rank, okay, mu'i, no rank, okay, so your social identity, okay, your class, your gender, your nationality has no influence, connection, relevance whatsoever to this true human of no rank aspect to your existence, okay, uh, an important point that's often been lost in the kind of the transmission of Zen, okay, to, to other countries, okay, it's not a na nation specific thing, okay okay, um, also uh, the, another aspect of it, it's 
the true ma this true person of, of no rank is right here, right now, with you, in you, is you, okay? So that's also this, this Zen uh, cosmology of, of the eternal here and now, okay? It, it's, it's not up there with God, it's not before you're born, it's not in the spirit world, ghost world, it, it's here now, physically, okay? Okay, and, and there's this idea that it is you, it's you seeing you, even if you don't see you self, yourself seeing you, you are seeing you, okay? Okay, there's this, it's this, uh, you know, Buddhism often has this kind of two minds theory, the, 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 the everyday mind that's a bit delusional, but also there's always this other mind that knows, okay? And it is, it's not God's mind or her, her but he's after it's, it's your mind as well, okay? Okay, and I, I, I would argue, and I think a lot of Zen people have backed me up, it's not hard to know this true man of rank, true person of rank. I think we've all experienced inklings of this. Maybe, maybe when you were five years old and wondering who made me, <laughs> you know, or something like that. We, we've all occasionally for two seconds maybe realized, whoa, you know. <laughs> Okay, so I, I, I don't, I know, I know. We heard um, Tanaka Loshi today talk about it takes years to to attain a certain clarity. Okay, but but I think we all have a little shadowed inklings of what this true human of no rank is. Okay, okay, so that's the true human of no rank. Okay, the next, um, uh, oh well, the, my, my handouts here. God, okay, sorry. Um, uh, right, thank you. Okay, the next I'm going to. Oh yeah, the next quote is for, is this four types of classifications, four processes. The Shilio Ken. Okay, okay, and this is um, um, it's it's a less violent quote. Okay, thankfully. Okay, um, the master gave a, yeah that's it. The master gave an evening lecture, uh, instructing the groups as follows. At times. One takes away the person, but does not take away the environment. At times, one takes away the environment, but does not take away the person. At times, one takes away both the person and the environment. At times, one takes away neither the person nor the environment. Okay? Okay. Now, here's where... Um, oh, yeah. And one, one important point that D.T. Suzuki makes in his... Linzai uh, Shiso no Kisa... Uh, don't confuse person here with true person of no rank, okay? They're two different persons, okay? Okay, this is just person, person, okay? Okay, now here's where Izutsu has helped me. He, he says that this person is subject, okay? And the environment is object, okay? That makes sense. What else would you be talking about, okay? You might as well label it as subject, object, okay? So you have four conditions, four states, four processes. So let's, let's call them four, four conditions, okay? Uh, subject alone, object alone, both subject and object, no subject or object. Subject and object taken away, okay? Nothing, nilch, yet, okay? Okay, now, according to Izutsu, okay, importantly, these four conditions, these four states are not stages in a progress, okay? It's not as if you start off with a subject and then you realize an object and then you become, and you eventually reach the last stage, which is no, so, no, 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 these are just equal conditions that you just come in and out of, okay? Okay. Uh, and similarly, at the same point again is, they're not hierarchical, okay? No SO is not better than SO, okay? Uh, sorry, subject, object, I'm, I'm using letters, okay, SO, okay? They're, they're equal, okay? Okay, Th there's no um, valorization of e any of these conditions, okay? They're just what happens, okay? Now, <clears throat> there's an important question, where is this happening? Okay, we could say it's happening in your thinking, in your mind, but that's probably confusing, not going far enough. Izutsu had, in, this, in his book, he developed this concept called the field, okay? He wrote the book in English, and when it was translated into Japanese, it was actually given a katakana term, fieldo, okay? Okay, so it, it's Izutsu's word, concept, term, okay? Um, he, he, he describes elsewhere, the, the, his idea of the field is, it's, it's similar to, um, um, this morning, somebody was sorry if I can't remember. Somebody was talking about the codependent arising, the Pritichya Samutpada, okay, the Engi, where instead of seeing a world of substantia, he calls it, where there's you looking out to, to at specific objects that have their own substance, it's a world where everything, including you, is in, in relation, okay, a relatio, okay, okay, R all rising at the same time, okay, okay, now that's the field, and Izutsu links. The four categories uses the field to link the four concept the four four conditions four categories to the true person of no rank. Okay, so that's why I've, I've used those two quotes because the true person of no rank 
and the four types of classifications are linked by Izutsu, okay, with this concept of the field. Okay, I'll quote Izutsu. For Linzai, the man is the field. Man, in his view, is a personal human actualization of the field, and in fact, there is absolutely no other type of actualization of the field. As a total the actualization of the field, the true man embodies the dynamics of the field. Okay? Okay. Now, so Izutsu is great, and he's helped a, a, me a lot, us a lot of it, interpreting this. But I think here he makes a mistake, okay? Okay, uh, here's where I got controversial. He links the last stage, the last condition that I mentioned, okay? Take away person and the environment, my, SO minus, okay? He links that to what he calls the oriental nothingness, okay? The mu, okay? That's a mistake, I think. No, if he were a Kyoto school philosopher, he would have linked it to the field. It's the field that is the mu, the nothingness, the, the absolute, the coup, okay? Uh, taking away subject and object is just a relative nothingness, okay? It's, it's, it's the nothingness that ain't nothing, okay? It, it's not the absolute nothingness, okay? That's the field, okay? Okay, he's made a categorical error. And I will argue also that Nishida makes a similar categorical error, categorical error, okay? Um, or classificatory error, um, with his concept of pure experience. It's a slightly different categorical error. But, um, it, but if we look at pure experience in terms of the four fields, um, Nishida seems to make two two, de two definitions, distinctions, descriptions of pure experience, okay? He links pure experience to prior to something that's prior to the subject-object division, okay? He says that clearly in Zen no Kenkyu, okay? Um, so he's linking it to that condition, okay? The, the SO minus condition, okay? He also, in another essay, and, and in Zen no Kenkyu, links pure experience to the basis of reality. He says that. He says, I think pure experience is the basis of Sabeta no um, Kodoku no uh, Jinsai. Okay, it's the basis of all reality, pure experience. So he's linking it to the field. He's linking it to two things that, according to Linchi, should be separate, okay? Minus SO and the actual field where all these four categories emerge through the, the uh, true human of no rank, okay? Okay, um, okay. I'm okay with time. Okay, let, let's, let's just think a bit further about pure experience, okay? Pure experience was originally a concept from William James, okay, in his psychology. He was trying to, William James was trying to work out at what stage in nature does consciousness evolve, okay? When does consciousness come in the, you know, in the, in the evolution of, of, of humans, of, of animals? Okay, so William James saw consciousness as a product of nature. Nishida reversed this. He sees nature as a product of consciousness, okay? Um, consciousness is just there, okay? It, it is nature with its, its objects all classified, including the very concept of consciousness that is derivative, okay? Consciousness is not dependent on thoughts or thinkers, on subjects or objects. Thoughts and thinkers, subjects and objects arise when there are obstacles to the seamless flow of the the pure experience, okay, at the bottom of consciousness, okay? So Nishida's image is of this um, great unity that occasionally gets divided through to obstacles to be reunited again, okay? The, the great uh, unification, okay? Okay, great unity, he calls it, okay? So the problem of pure experience is the fact that it is this great unity, the fact that there's no fragmentation, okay? Sustainable fragmentation, okay? There's momentary fragmentation, but not sustainable, okay? Okay, the problem is that to have meaning, to have narrative, to have history, we need fragmentation, okay? The world will be meaningless when there are no fragments, whether in space or time, to which we can attach labels, words, concepts, and so on, okay? Which are not bad, evil things, okay? How can we see other people if, if, if all is one, one big great unity in the pure experience, okay? In fact, to see other people, we need both subject and object, okay? We see other people as other people when we see them seeing us as objects, which is the subject, okay? The subject arises not when we look at the world, but when the world looks back at us, and we can see it looking back at us, okay? That, that's, uh, I think, Karatani, another Japanese philosopher, Karatani Kojin's concept of the transcendental ladder, okay? Anyway, the point, my point is that a full and alive embodied human consciousness, like the true human of no rank, needs the other states, the other conditions of consciousness. It needs the S and the O, the subject and the object. And pure experience is an impoverishment that does not allow for this, okay, is my intention. 
to conclude, uh, to include, sorry, I'm not concluding yet. Okay, I will, I will soon, sorry. To include um, th this uh, here and now and this meaning and other people, this history, okay? So we need to have a certain model, a cosmology that, that is the here and now of this, this true human of, of no rank, but is also you other people as well, which are true humans of no rank and the world of objects and nature and all this. We need a geometry of fragmentation and unity that can describe the field of the true person and all these four states, S O S minus, uh, okay. Right, now, uh, Nishida, let's, let's skip forward. Nishida's first book was Zen no Kenkyu. Let's uh, fast forward through his many decades of work and go to his last book, okay? Which was called uh, uh, Logic of Topos, okay? Basho no Lonely, I think it was, okay? Okay, and let's look at this. L let's look at what his geometry is, okay? He says, quote, I'm quoting Nishida's last book, okay? I have often compared the absolutely contradictorily self-identical topos, basho, okay? The world of the absolute present, the historical space, to an infinite sphere. It has no circumference, and yet everywhere is its center. Okay, so we have that, the, the infinite sphere where the circumference is infinite out there, nowhere, and the, the, the center is everywhere, okay? And he, he, he develops it a bit where the central direction is, is God and the circum, circumferential direction is the negative and the demonic, and the individual has, uh, quote, the in, as individuals of such a world, we are both demonic and divine. Okay, that, that's a good stab at getting the S and the O into the picture, okay? But we can question whether it, it uh, he is actually getting the O, or is he just foregrounding the S and kind of including the O subservient to it, okay? Now, uh, I would like to ask you to, to yeah. come to the... Oh, okay. All right. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. I tell you what, what I was going to do next was I was going to compare him to uh, uh, Tanabe. Okay. But uh, since we've run out of time, I won't. But if somebody wants to ask me a question to Q and A about Tanabe, I will answer it, and then I can say what I was going to say. Okay. Okay. So then I'll conclude there. Okay. I'll conclude. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.